How well do you think you know the rules of golf? Well, in this video, we're going to present a little quiz, multiple choice quiz. We've got eight scenarios that you might encounter in any round of golf you play. We're going to give you three possible answers. How many can you get right out of eight? We'll give you all the answers at the end of the video. So without further ado, let's move on to scenario one. So our first question, Neil is on the 18th tee on the West Course at Royal Ashdown Forest Golf Club. It's a tough drive. He's taken a few practice swings. And unfortunately, on one of the practice swings, he accidentally nicks his ball and just knocks it off the tee. What is the ruling? Answer A, there is no penalty and Neil must play the ball from where it now lies. Answer B, there is no penalty and Neil can re-tee the ball. Or answer C, there is a one-stroke penalty and Neil must re-tee the ball. Right, in our next question, Neil has found some trouble in the trees. And he can see there's a tree root quite near his ball. He wants to know if there might be one even near his ball that could impact on the shot. So he gets a tee peg and he probes the ground around his ball to see if there's any tree roots he might strike during his shot. Uh, what is the ruling here? Has Neil broken any rules? So your three options are A, there is no penalty, B, Neil incurs a one-stroke penalty, or C, Neil incurs a general penalty, which in a match, which this is, would mean loss of hole. In our next scenario, Neil is playing a match. Uh, he's reached the green and as he gets this ball, he notices there's some sand sticking to it. So he places his putter head down right beside the ball, cleans the sand off the ball, replaces the ball where his putter head still is and makes his putt. What is the ruling? Answer A, there is a one stroke penalty. Answer B, Neil incurs a general penalty, which would be loss of hole in a match. Or answer C, there is no penalty. In this next one, Neil is playing a stroke play round. His ball has come to rest on a cart path from which he gets relief. He proceeds to measure out the relief area, the one club length relief area, with the head cover of his driver still on. He then drops his ball quite close to the path and plays on. What is the ruling? Answer A, Neil gets a one stroke penalty. Answer B, Neil gets the general penalty, which is two strokes. Or answer C, there is no penalty. In our next scenario, Neil's ball has just missed the fairway. It's come to rest in the semi-rough. Uh, there's a stick beside his ball, which he moves. As he does so, his ball moves a few inches. What is the ruling? A, there is no penalty. B, there is a one-stroke penalty and Neil must replace the ball in its original lie. C, there is a one-stroke penalty and Neil plays the ball from its new position. In our next one, Neil finds himself just off the green. He's got a little delicate chip shot to play. Uh, as he's working out how to play it and practicing the stroke, he accidentally moves his ball on one of his practice swings. What is the ruling here? Answer A, there is no penalty, but Neil must replace the ball to its original spot. Answer B, there is a one stroke penalty and Neil must replace the ball to its original spot. Or answer C, there is no penalty, but the practice stroke actually counts as a stroke. Well, in this scenario, Neil has found the penalty area just short of the 18th green on the west course at Royal Ashdown Forest Golf Club. We're playing a match. He's in the penalty area. Uh, he takes a couple of practice swings, grounding his club on both occasions before playing his shot. What is the ruling here? A, there is no penalty. B, Neil gets a one stroke penalty. Or C, this is a match, general penalty, loss of hole. So on to our eighth and final scenario. In this one, Neil is facing a six foot putt here. It's a stroke play competition. As he's preparing to take the putt, he accidentally drops his glove on the ball, causing it to move a little bit from its original spot. So what is the ruling here? Answer A, Neil incurs a one stroke penalty and must replace the ball to its original spot. Answer B, Neil gets the general penalty, two strokes, and must replace the ball to its original spot. Or answer C, there is no penalty, but Neil must still replace the ball to its original spot before putting. So there you go, that's all eight scenarios. Now to the answers. How well did you get on? You're about to find out. So the answer to our first question in which Neil knocked the ball off the tee on his practice stroke is answer B. There is no penalty and Neil can re-tee the ball before playing. The reason is that under rule 6.1, a player hasn't started a hole until he's made a stroke 
to begin that hole, the practice stroke does not count as a stroke, so therefore the ball is not yet in play at this point. And the answer to our tree root question you'll perhaps be pleased to know is that there is no penalty. The rules apply a degree of common sense here because they don't want you damaging either your club or perhaps injuring yourself. So you are allowed to probe with a tee peg around your ball to see if there might be any tree roots, rocks or other obstructions just underneath the surface that might come into contact with your club during the stroke as long as you don't do anything to improve the conditions affecting the stroke. So the answer to the one where there was sand on Neil's ball and he marked the position of the ball with his putter head is uh, C, there is no penalty. On the putting green you may always lift and clean the ball uh, and you may do so using either a ball marker or some kind of marker placed either right behind or right next to the ball or by holding a club right behind or right next to the ball. That's covered under rule 14.1a. So the answer to the one in which Neil measured out the club length with the head cover his driver still on is uh, answer C, there is no penalty. Um, although the head cover is not included as part of the club length, which is the longest club you are carrying that round, if the ball is clearly dropped within the relief area, then there is no penalty. Uh, the answer to the one in which Neil removed the loose impediment and caused his ball to move is answer B. There is a one-stroke penalty and Neil must replace the ball to its original spot. Under Rule 15.1b, if you move a loose impediment in the general area of the golf course and cause the ball to move, you are penalised. You must replace the ball where it was, estimating the spot to the best of your ability if you can't be 100% sure of exactly where it was lying. OK, and the answer to the one where Neil accidentally moved his ball while practising a chipping stroke near the green is answer B. There is a one-stroke penalty and Neil must replace the ball to its original spot before playing. Uh, under Rule 9.4, if you move your ball at rest in the general area of the golf course, there is a one-stroke penalty and you must always replace the ball. Uh, if you can't be exactly sure where it was, estimate the spot to the best of your ability. Well here we are, this is the uh, penalty area one, taking practice swings in the penalty area. You can see the results of Neil's shot there, he's got it to three or four feet, but is he going to suffer a penalty? Well the answer is no. answer is A, there is no penalty. From the rules revisions in 2019, you can uh, ground the club lightly, move loose impediments, uh, take practice swings, and even touch the ground or water in a penalty area, and there is no penalty. Obviously, you've still got to take care that you don't move the ball in the process. So the answer to the one in which Neil dropped his glove on the ball on the putting green is the um, answer C. There is no penalty, but Neil must replace the ball to its original spot before putting. This falls under rule 13.1D, in which any accidental movement of either the ball or the ball marker on the putting green does not result in a penalty, but the player must replace the ball before putting, estimating the spot if he can't be 100% sure exactly where it was. So there you have it, that's our quiz. How did you get on? Did you get all eight? Did you find it easy? Did you find it hard? Were the things in there that surprised you? Let us know below in the comments and we'll be looking to put another of these rules quiz videos together very soon. So look out for that on our YouTube channel.